What is crackalackin' everybody? I'm back at it with another review, this time with a pair from Highs and Lows. This is the tote bag that came with it. Flip it over, the Cox Sportif rubberized on there. Same with that front side in that peachy color that you will see later on. So let's get rid of that. Box, it's like a pinky color as well. Cox Sportif, how logos on the top. I only got this navy blue trim. Goes all the way around. Got more of it there, more of it there. All right, let's get into them. This is the Signet on a pair of Lecoq Sportif R1000s. This is part two to their collaboration on the Swan Pack, which is same model, but um, obviously modeled after the adult Swans. And here we've got the baby Swans. So we'll start with the toe box like we always do. Got this peach leather across the toe box there. And that continues along in the suede that wraps all the way around the toe box. Really nice and premium. Not much of a brush. I think I see a brush there. Also in the toe box, we've got this white smooth leather and the window there. The leather actually pokes through the window there, so this piece obviously goes around. Wrapping into the outside, we've got another. This is actually a really nice leather, smooth leather again. We've got a nice crinkle to it when you press on it. Around the outside there, we've got a grey suede with a pressed in Lecoq Sportif logo, that little triangle there, pretty cool. Same material here that wraps around the bottom of the side. Guess we're going to the back now. We've got that same grey suede across the top of the heel cup and across the bottom. That white leather hit goes all the way around. Underneath it, we've got a navy blue hit in these sort of cutouts, pretty cool. Top. Navy blue again with pink Lecoq Sportif on the left hand shoe. Right hand shoe's got highs and lows. Wrap around to the inside, same thing. White leather, gray suede, pink suede, white leather. Pretty simple. Grommets, you've got this, or the eyelets, sorry for the leathers, uh, sorry for the laces. White leather, navy blue at the top, white plastic hit down the bottom. The little suede on the tongue, pretty cool, highs and lows, if you can see that there, on the top of the tongue. White uh, cotton laces came with it with navy blue aglets. Pretty much it. Uh, footbed, leather lined, which is really nice, definitely like that touch, it's a bit different to the black and white song, which are a bit padded and we've got leather backing on the tongue there with a the size label inside. Midsole, white all the way around. Got these triangular cutouts with a pink hit in the middle of them and then like a navy blue hit at the front of the forefoot there. Same thing on the inside, we don't have the cutouts. Outsole is a gray, very light gray. I wouldn't say it's white. And then you've got the Cox Sportif in that pink. And that's the same colors here and there as well. Pretty cool. Definitely liked them. I really am a fan of the first versions. I've only got the black swans. I wish I had the white. Uh, but pink and gray and white. Peach. Can't go wrong. Uh, these are the extra laces that came with it. Rope lace in that peachy pink color. Not a fan of these in the shoes. I pre definitely prefer the white, flat cotton laces. They're very soft, quite nice. Footbed, real quick. I uh, can see it there. The Cox Sportif. You've got the Cox Sportif R1000 Signet by Highs and Lows, limited edition. Real comfy. They sizing wise, they fit a bit big. This is a size 10.5. I'd usually wear an 11 to 11.5. I've got a bit of a broad foot, but yeah, awesome, awesome shoe. Colorways do it. it just executed very well. Materials are on point. Don't sleep on them. That's all I can say. That's it from me. See ya.